What's up everybody? My name is Scott Paddock and today we are going to talk about the function of chord tones. All chord tones are not created equally. Some are definitely more important than others. In today's video, we are going to talk about the function of each chord tone and hopefully by understanding the function of the chord tones, it's going to help you understand your chords better and it's also going to help your improv sound better. So if you don't already have a pretty good understanding of how to build chords, check out the video that I did on chords and chord symbols. That's going to get you ready for this video. This video, we're going to talk about the function of each degree of the chord. When we first start reading chord symbols, we think the root is the absolute most important part of the chord. And it kind of is, but it really isn't. Now it is because that is the foundation. The root is telling you the scale that the chord is based on but it is not telling you a very important part of that scale, which is the quality of the scale. So that's why the root is the foundation of the chord, but it's not the most important chord when it comes down to figuring out the type of chord that you're playing. So for example, I am gonna play the roots to autumn leaves and you'll hear the chords change, but you won't hear any qualities at all. You'll just hear the roots, you'll just hear the foundation. So take a listen to it. Again, when I play that, you can hear the foundation of the chords, but it's not really giving you any other information except for the root and the basic scale, not necessarily the quality of the scale, but the basic scale that the chord is gonna be based on. That brings us to the third. The third is super, super important because it tells us the quality. The root gives us the foundation, tells us the key that we're in, but the third tells us the quality of the key that we're in. So it's gonna tell us whether we're a major or minor, and that's very, very important. So I'm gonna play uh, the chord changes to Autumn Leaves again. This time I'm gonna play the root and the third, and that's gonna give you the ability to really hear more of the chord. You're gonna hear more of the quality of the chord. So take a listen to it. So when I put the third in there, it really opens up the chord. You can hear uh, the progression. You can hear what's going on. You can hear the, the harmonic structure way better. So as a single note player, you should be thinking of the third being more important than the root being more important. The root is important, but that's already being covered by the bass player and possibly the rhythm player also. So when you're thinking about defining the quality, you wanna do that with the third. All right, let's move up the chord to the fifth. The fifth, unfortunately, does not get much love. The fifth is not that important at all, except when you change it. If you alter the fifth, then it becomes very important. If you don't change the fifth, it almost doesn't matter whether it's there or not. It's just not an important part of the chord. So I'm gonna play the chord outline again. This time I'm gonna put the fifth on it and you will hear the chord will sound more complete, but you're not really gonna get any new information. Take a listen. Except for there, that is your F sharp half diminished. So we lowered the fifth. So that makes that five very, very, very important. So we have a lowered third and a lowered fifth. So when the fifth is altered, it becomes very important. When it's not altered, it really doesn't matter if it's there or not. So starting on the F sharp half diminished. Again, the fifth really doesn't give you much information. It's just kind of like the filler note. It makes the chord sound more complete, but it doesn't really tell you much, again, unless it's altered. Now we get to the seventh. The seventh is almost as important as the third because it tells you the flavor. So I think of it as the third telling you the quality and the seventh telling you the flavor. The flavor meaning whether it's gonna be minor or it's gonna be a major or you're gonna have a dominant chord or so on and so forth. So it's gonna tell you more information because it can change. When it comes to reading chords, the root doesn't change that much. If you have a G minor or a G major or a G half diminished or a G dominant, it's always a G. The same thing with the fifth. If you have a G minor or a G major or a G dominant, it doesn't really change that much. That's why they're not as important. 
When it comes to the third, when you change the third, that tells you the quality. When you change the seventh, I think of that as the flavor. So that's going to tell you whether it's a major seventh or a dominant seventh or a minor seventh chord. The seventh is also pretty important. It's right below the third as far as what is important. So this time I'm going to play one, three, uh, five, seven. So I'm going to play the whole chord and you're obviously going to hear the whole chord. Take a listen to it. sounds like a really complete chord. This time I'm going to play the first, the third, and the seventh. I'm going to skip the fifth and you're not really going to miss it that much. Take a listen to it. You didn't really miss much. Like you still felt the quality and the flavor of the chord. Uh, it didn't sound as complete because the fifth definitely helps complete it. But again, you didn't really miss much except for on that F sharp uh, half diminish. On the F sharp to half diminish, when you don't play the fifth, it sounds like a F sharp minor seventh, and that's not what they want. So that's when the five becomes important. So a little recap. The root is important because it's telling you the scale that it's based on, but it's not really giving you any other information. But the scale that it's based on and being the foundation is pretty important. The third is super important because it tells you the quality and the quality is very important to us. We need to know whether we're playing major or minor. The fifth is not that important unless it's altered. When it's altered, it becomes very important. Uh, but when it's, when it's just regular, it's not giving you any information at all. It's just kind of filler. And the seventh is giving you the flavor of the chord. So it's also pretty important. So when you hear people talking about thirds and sevenths, thirds and sevenths, practice your thirds and sevenths, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about giving the quality and the flavor of the chord. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. I hope that you now understand the function of chord tones. And if you do, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh.